Or is this just like the tip of the iceberg? At first sight, who would know what I love, what's important to me, what, what I am, who I am, and what my dreams are? Imagine that you're the new kid at a brief activity. <coughs> you walk in and everyone's staring at you. How would you feel? Maybe you feel lonely, afraid, or nervous? I've had that experience more than once, and it's not fun. Being rejected is a terrible feeling, especially if that person is judging you unfairly. But I remember at a time at a mall, though, when a boy came up to me and said, Hi, how are you? With a friendly smile and no judgment, out of the blue. That made my day. I still don't know this guy's name, but that person took the time to say hi and ask me who I really was. The kid sincerely wanted me to tell him about me, the real me. He didn't come up with a me in his head based on what I was wearing or the color of my skin. He didn't judge at all. He just asked. And what this act means to me is, hey, is he nice? What's your name? Want to be friends? I'm taking a risk here by reaching out. Don't let me fall, but hi anyway. How are you doing? Tell me who you are. When I was about seven, I went to summer camp for the second time. Previous year, I had met a girl named Heidi. We hung out together a lot and played in the pool when the heat was getting intolerable. I was super excited to see her again this year and was thoroughly disappointed when she walked when she didn't show up three hours past the start time. I was so happy when she walked in, looking nervous and out of place, in the middle of a song that we were all singing. What I did next is something that I would never ever have the guts to do now. My theory is that this is just probably a weird but good quality of being seven years old. I jumped up, even though we were all in the middle of the song, ran over to her, yelled Heidi, and gave her a huge hug. I didn't even care that 50 families were watching me, or that all the adults collectively sighed, aw, oh, how cute is that? But you know what? It was thoroughly worth it. That one act made Heidi's nervous expression clear into happiness, and we hit off as good friends. Well, others may have thought, oh, look at that redhead. I didn't, and I found a friend that I spent three years with. There was also a time, though, when I was in Heidi's place. I had traveled to the States with my two friends after summer camp, and although I was happy and having fun with my friends, there were many times when I felt lonely and homesick. My friends and their awesome families were amazing, though. My friend Ruby's mom, Jana, even said, You know you're part of this family, aren't you? That really helped me get through all the homesickness. I think it's important to be friendly and outgoing to all people. Black, red, purple, or white. I've learned that creating an image of people isn't cool. I used to hate it when the Chinese assumed that I was American. So they asked you again, Is this me? Is the girl you see here all there is to it? Or is it just some brown hair, brown eyes, and clothing? A cover. Or is this just like the tip of the iceberg? At first sight, who would know what I love? What's important to me? What I am? Who I am? And what my dreams are? I wouldn't be so sure. Thank you.